Yes. Now, the federal government has extended free train rides on the Abuja Rail Mass Transit, also known as Metro Rail, for the next six months, continuing until the end of the year. President Bolatinubu granted the extension at the inauguration of the Abuja Metro Rail operations on Wednesday. The first phase of the rail connects the city to the Namdia Zikue International Airport with stations in Idu and Moshudabiola National Stadium. The president said the extension of the free service will offer hope to FCT residents and give them reasons to celebrate his administration. Minister of the FCT, Nyesa Mwike, said the free rides are part of the president's renewed hope agenda for residents of the nation's capital. It is my immense pride and gratitude that I stand before you to flag off the relaunch of commercial operation of the Abuja Mass Transit Ray Program, known commonly as Abuja Metro. When we came to office, in my desire to have a functional and flourishing federal capital with efficient public infrastructure and transportation, I will serve the people who live and work within the city and the surrounding communities. The cost of those roads for seven lots cost us 21.4 billion naira. As I speak to you today, all those roads are completed, car parks for people to use to the various train stations. So what we are doing today is not that we are commissioning Metro, no. No. And people, because I have had people say that this has been commissioned before. What was commissioned is the metro station, not the operational. Because you can't have a train station when it is not uh, in use. So it was a directive. That is why we are here today. The last government awarded to CCECC to train those who will operate these trains at the cost of $128 million to train our people for 29 months. So we came back and we called the company. It is like you want to sabotage the business of this metro line. Where are we going to get $128 million? What are you, which people are you training? Are you training all of them in China or where? Your Excellency, we sat down with them and said, no, it's not possible. We didn't, we didn't negotiate with them. Today, they brought it down to $75 million. All right, well, Rise News Analyst Dayo Shobowale joins us now to discuss this presidential largesse to residents of Abuja <laughs> and how the potential loss of revenue on that would impact the efficiency of the rail system. Good afternoon, Mr. Shobowale, and warm welcome to the program. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure of being here, Sujo. Right. Let's get straight into it. We just heard the minister of the FCT talking about the numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, so as much as uh, this is something that the president said should bring celebration to the people, uh, looking at the numbers for a brand new rail line that has just, whose operation, operations have just been commissioned, mm -hmm. should we be celebrating or should we be looking for a way to make sure that it is a viable business first? Well, we should be celebrating first. Okay. Uh, although... Uh, I appreciate the suspicion on uh, profitability, but this is a public spirited gesture. Transportation facilitates so many things: trade, uh, unemployment, and I mean, it, you know, it costs into unemployment, provides jobs for our youth, engineers, and so on. So the the spirit behind it and the execution is very very public spirited. We should thank government for, or even WIKI especially, for facilitating this. Even the president said he didn't expect he would be riding in it now, under one year. But he has, he has taken the ride in it. So it, it is a gesture in the right direction. Now, as to your concern about profitability, you see, um, the profit will come. But this, what they have done now is what is called penetration marketing. Penetration, penetration pricing in marketing, whereby you allow a customer to get used to a product, have a free ride, as it were, 
And then when they are hooked and they can't do without it, you start putting some prices and, you know, up to the highest level. Because there is customer loyalty. They know the need. They know the functionality, the convenience of taking it. And the enjoyment and customer satisfaction. So that's what they have done. It reminds me of when uh, Noga Hilton was started. Mm. Was so far from town. But they have a, uh, a time they, they call lucky time or so. Whereby they give free beer. You could see people trooping in. <laughs> but after half of time, they started raising the price. And it keeps on making the profit. I think what government has done now is to make sure people get used to the service. You get me? For convenience, for functionality, for getting to wherever they are going, for, to do their daily jobs. You see, it's on till December. So by the time government says, oh, okay, maybe you have, you have paid 20 naira or so, they, 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 they will have seen that there's no way they can't do without the service for their daily something. So it is a public spirited thing. It's a, it's a gesture in the right direction. And I commend government for that. Mm. Yes, and and also a form of subsidy for the transport Beautiful. sector in that uh, sector yeah. as well. All, all right, Mr. Shibuali. But, uh, you know, it's often been said that uh, it's one thing to have an infrastructural development like this. But then again, you have to take a look at our maintenance culture and uh, mm -hmm. sustaining this on the long term. Yes, you already enumerated the functionality mm -hmm. of this. People getting used to it and uh, by the time they have to start paying for it, and of course, maintaining that facility. And then uh, that's where the question arises. Well, what are your thoughts there? Yeah, um, I, don't want to, <clears throat> I don't want to personalize performance now. But uh, if you see the zeal and commitment of a wiki, you can see that you would rather die than not see it through. Mm. Do you get me now? So I'm not flattering him. He won't want to fail on the project. And you see, see what they have done. They have facilitated the functionality of that issue. It's not a matter of just going on the road. Mm -hmm. They have made the car parks. They have made the adjoining roads. And you see, they, 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 they were owing some money to the Chinese before. They settled everything to make it functional. And if people, everybody loves a free ride. <laughs> people who are forced, what, what are they doing there? And once they have done their... Uh, uh, service education for yeah. those handling the service. Mm. They handle, if they have trained them well, they will deliver the service. Mm. Or, yeah, they make a lot. They retrain them. Probably in Nigeria, not in China. You get me? So that if the rail runs according to time, according to schedule, and people know its value, it will pay its way. So that when people say, I mean, uh, they, they should come and pay, yeah. they will be more than willing. But like you rightly said, it's not for subsidy. Mm. There's no government that does not subsidize uh, one sector of the other. And in Europe now, the farmers are demonstrating because they say the price of milk, because given this uh, transition to transition to clean energy, yes. is you know, they are, are selling below production price, and they want subsidy. Mm. Of course, government will give them. Because if they don't give them, they won't vote for them. Mm -hmm. And the elections are around the corner. So that's the essence of democracy. And you see, it's not only in uh, Abuja, even some will in Lagos, I think yesterday also, launched some ferries. Get me? If you see Lagos, uh, the waterways, Lagos is an island. Yeah. You get me? If you have ferries moving, all of us will not be gunning at each other on the roads, mm -hmm. uh, motor cars, and polluting the environment. <laughs> So you launch some ferries. So that's integrated communication, transportation. Such infrastructure are the sort of things that create convenience and value for people in a democracy. And I think they can boast now that they, they are trying at least to deliver on the dividends of democracy. It's good also that. Okay, now let's talk about sustainability from a different angle. Uh, because, you know, uh, m many people might say that, okay, fine, this was an easy win. It was a one-year anniversary and we just needed, you know, something quick and easy that can, can, can excite people. 
What happens once December comes around, uh, if we still find ourselves in the same economic situation that we find ourselves, and people now have to pay for the service that they've gotten used to, but they can't afford it anymore? So is this really a step in the right direction? Because at the end of the day, you're trying to create sustainability. Uh, what are your thoughts on that very quickly? Because I believe we, we're uh, almost out of time. Sustainability based on performance and convenience and the value added to all the users. But if I don't have the money? <laughs> mm, if you don't have the money, you won't take it. And but, but then you have tasted, you have tasted it. Uh, you have tasted it. It's not easy. <laughs> and I'm sure they will make it, they will make it affordable. It's penetration pricing. Yeah. You make it affordable so that you draw people. So that they can't do without the service. So they just opt in. All right. Yes, so. as long as they, have made, they make the fears affordable, it should be sustainable. Very good. All so, things be equal. Mr. Tayo Shabo Ali, as yeah. always, the, the keywords. Analyst, yeah, <laughs> I'd like to thank you. <laughs>